Hello, my name is Duncan Alderdice and the reason I'm making these videos is to document the journey I take as I become who I am by making small improvements to my life every single day. Today was a fantastic day. The first item of business I'm gonna talk about is how many reach outs, I, what I did at work today. So, number one, 20 dials on the day, relatively lower to the standard. Uh, no demos have been booked, but I did enroll, I bit like like 45 people into the end of month sequence, so a bunch of there. One of the, those sequences that I did yesterday actually turned into a pipeline being rebooked. They've replied to the email. We booked a, a conversation for later this week. So potential for a close there. Maybe not, maybe so. We shall see. Only one demo held. Technically, there were three scheduled, but there are two no-shows. One had a text. One follow-up held. And one deal closed. And so that actually puts me on the month. I, I've, I hit quota. So now I have officially hit quota for the third month in a row. That could be the title of this video. Um, and that puts me actually, it's, it's like right on the dot. It is uh, technically, like I have closed two days. I love this. It is, I've closed $16,001.10. So <laughs> it just, that's nice to see. Like hit it right on the nose, which was fantastic. Um, now, the other things that I'm going to speak about, I feel like I have to explain everything that I'm speaking about. Yes, because I'm trying to explain things right now to someone who has never seen me before, because the people who, will, who have seen me before will understand this is the shtick, and the people who haven't seen me before won't have any context, so I need to provide them with context in order for them to understand much why I didn't just say the dials on the day, but I said that's what I did at work, and I work as an account executive that's plans well for the time being. Um, but so a bunch of small improvements today, or at least small wins, we'll call them. Number one is I have a subscriber who has commented, Jennifer, I'm shouting you out here, um, has commented and on videos that I've replied to. I sent her a message on Instagram to join the become who you are group. She joined, made a long post, like, like introducing herself. I was very appreciative of that. Now there's actually some activity going on. Um, and then elected to book an onboarding call for the sort of coaching program. So that is later this week. I don't know if I should say that out loud. I feel like now I'm questioning whether, oh no, no, because I don't actually talk what goes on in the calls. I just talk about how I feel about it. Okay, we're good, we're good on that. Um, so, okay, so, but the, the reason why that's significant is because um, that's not someone who knows me, but like that is someone who doesn't know me who this is the first like their first interaction with me was through YouTube and then follow up with uh, on Instagram they actually created a wrote a song inspired by one of the videos which is fucking talented as shit if you haven't checked it out link in this just the description below um, breakfast for dinner great fucking song actually like really good but then that, that joined there so that that proves the concept of the whole organic uh, traffic thing um, but I think what's, I find more to I have other things to talk about, but what's more interesting is someone actually joined the group today officially, who I didn't know who they were. They created like a fake account. Uh, well, not a fake account, an, a, a, an account with a fake name. Like it's not their real name and there wasn't a picture of them. So I, I couldn't, I, I don't know who they are. But at first when they requested to join, I didn't know who they were. So I didn't accept it right away. I actually declined it in the end because I sent them a message going like, do I know you? And I was thinking, should I just uh, uh, like, uh, accept them? But then I thought, no, I don't want like a spam bot or people like, just like, I want to keep it in, in line with what it is that we're trying to do with this group, the group. Um, but they replied to my message being like, I, I found you through YouTube. And I was like, okay. And so I was like, that's cool, I accepted them. And then they actually went through the personality test, which was also on the classroom. And then like, so, Tonight, I'm going to calculate their results so that I can send them with uh, like the results of that, which was very w weird, or not weird, but just surreal. Just it, just more. That's purely coming through YouTube, and the reason why that actually exists is because I spent the weekend and the weekend before that copying and pasting the join the become who you are group um, in the the actual description and didn't even have any call to actions to it, which is in line with what the, the, the people who I'm listening to seem to say, don't make direct call to actions, like like subscribe this video or like like check out the link in the description, even though I've already done that. Um, people will naturally figure that out. Use the organic content to just kind of provide value. 
And then when you run a paid ad, that's when you can make the direct ask. And then when people are going like, okay, someone is asking me for something, who is it? They'll either recognize me from this sort of content, which you can get with retargeting ads, or that will be the first time they're seeing me. And then they'll be like, who is this guy? Check me out. And then from here, it's not, when they consume your content to check out who you were, or you don't want to make everything you make an ad, because then people will get annoyed at that. Um, but so that that's just proof of concept right there, but that's just, it's more the real, like that's the first real, I guess you could call it lead. Um, but no, it's more the first real person who joined the Become Who You Are group that wasn't of an action that I did like intentionally, which is, it, it's fantastic. It also just reinforces the meta concept that the series is, which is if you start and continue at something, you will succeed. More meaning, if I didn't start recording and posting these videos eight or nine months ago, whatever that was, back in September, late August, literally the last day of August, um, then that person wouldn't have joined the group. Ooh, so then that actually is cool. So that's, that's fantastic. Um, other things that happened yesterday, I like, I'm trying to figure out what courses I have to make. Also because the personality test is just the link right now, it now provides me with an incentive to actually kind of give at least a rough breakdown of what each thing is, because I know the description for each of the tests isn't terrific in terms of like that on its own isn't enough. I normally would do that and like talk to the person about what each thing is. So if I could talk to the person either on a phone call, on a Zoom call, or in a video format that's been pre-recorded, either of those all work, but just things are starting to happen, so that's good. Um, yesterday I was brainstorming the outline for the goal, how to set proper goals effectively, um, which is the, the first course that I kind of want to make. Um, the course that I'm taking on how to make a course is using ChatGPT to kind of brainstorm a structure. My frustration with that approach or my dislike of that approach is because then ChatGPT tends to do all the thinking. And yes, you're gonna to need to modify what ChatGPT says, but it's not originating from you. You're like, what your thinking is gonna be constricted to what ChatGPT has to offer. So then what I did instead was spent the evening brainstorming my own course, like what that would look like, so that when I do the exercise using ChatGPT, I have something to contrast it to and go like, okay, no, I like this. Like I have some idea that I'm trying to work with. This is gonna help flush that out rather than me going, give me an idea, okay, rework. I just like that divergent and then convergent creative process rather than convergent right from the beginning or making the divergent thinking process all the responsibility of the computer thing. So that's cool. Um, they made a post, personality test, as well as something more work related is I, I called someone who asked for a follow-up and got a definitive no from them and why that's a small improvement is because then it's not someone I just have to keep calling and calling and calling and think about, but I can just go, this person is not someone worth uh, pursuing. And they actually had a good reason they're pursuing something else altogether, but it's an outcome. You don't have to say yes and no, I will accept because that tells me, that gives me a direction of how to change my behavior. If it's a yes, then it's like fantastic. That's what we've been trying to do. If it's a no, then it's like fantastic. I no longer have to pursue you, awesome. Um, so I just got that. And actually that brings us to the end of everything I had to speak about. What am I gonna do tonight? Tonight I'm gonna flush out the, well, number one, get the personality test result, uh, as well as flush out the, um, flush out the, what do you call it? Flush out the goal setting course activity, as well as we have a new subscriber as of today, who's a public, Erica Benoit. Thanks for subscribing, uh, appreciate that. Uh, there's sometimes other people who subscribe that I can't see, but this person's public, so appreciate that, sticking around. Um, hope to see you in the group, uh, if you want. But other than that, Clementine Club, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video as always, and remember to believe in yourself because you're more capable of doing great things than you give yourself credit. I'll talk to you later.